Hey guys, Dell here from Dell's Rigging and Crane Tips. A 2020 not so yeah yeah. Bro, what is happening in the world? Shout out to everyone who's out of work because of this shit, but COVID can go suck a dick. That's what I think. Because um, it sucks, you're at home with the wife all the time. That can't be good for any dude out there, especially a crane operator. I'm joking, I love my wife. Nah, I do. Um, yeah man, shout out to everyone out of work. I've been uh, out of action for a bit. Sorry guys, but you know, that's how it is. Newborn, bro, how hard are they? Bro, I thought it was just, you know, feed them a bit, a few nappies here and there. Not even, man, full-time job. Plus the kids, my daughter's at home, bro. Homeschooling? Anyone out there in the comments, can you tell me what six times seven is? What the hell is the capital of Paris? Bro, how do you spell restaurant? I don't know. I was full guessing. I had to go out the back and like start asking Google all the answers, then come back in like the know it all. Be like, yeah man, the capital of Paris is France. Or whatever it is. I don't know. But this homeschool kid stuff doing my head in so anyway COVID whatever today's tip you're a rigger you got to put counterweights on where do you stand without looking like a dick what's what's your job in this he's trying to put the counterweights over the goalposts I mean do you stand in the middle do you look if it's going in what do you do you know I mean how come the crane operator keeps looking at me like he wants to punch my face in? It's probably because you're not really doing anything that's necessary. On this video, I'm going to show you where you should stand and what you should be aiming for when you're helping him put the counterweights on. Now this is all relative to what site you're on. Because some sites you can't stand up there so you're no good to anyone. Uh, or you have to stand in the middle and you can't do anything outlandish, you know, so whatever works. Look, if your crane opera wants to do a specific thing, follow what he wants to do. Just be like, bro, Dell, your advice sucks. But if you want to know what helps me and what I do and what I've had good reviews on, this is it, bros. This is, it. This is the video for you. So look, I'm going to show you some counterweight, which is on real cranes, which is good. And then um, we're going to do this whole imaginary. Imagine if this was a counterweight and this is what you do. Okay, so let's go. Okay, guys, so let's put our imaginary hats on, okay? This is the goalpost, which is already on the chassis of the crane, all right? It's just sitting there, okay? And we've got another biscuit to put on. And so the crane operator's cab is on the left hand side and you're up here on the deck wondering what I do. Now, if you're with a good crane operator or if your crane operator's just jumped into the crane, he's not gonna know his radius, his radius of where to put the counterweight. That means it might be four meters, 4.2 meters to get onto the counterweight. That's his radius. Now, a good operator should know his radius. So he knows the exact radius to which his counterweight perfectly snugs over the goalpost. He knows it perfectly. So there's no reason for you at all to be down the side there telling him his jib, or on the side there telling him his jib. And there's actually no reason for you to be standing in the middle as the counterweights look down, seeing if the holes line up with the goalpost. Because he knows that. He knows that, bruv, that, that it's pointless work. And it's pointless effort for you. So this is great because if, if you're a rigger and, you know, typically some riggers are lazy and if you want to do less work, this tip's going to be handy for you because you don't have to be doing all that. The only job that makes sense for you when he's bringing in a counterweight on and you're standing up to the chassis is getting the counterweight square. Now, if you've already got the, goal, the base plate on with the goalpost, you know, it's got two goalposts here. If that's already on, it's good. But if it's not, it's sweet. 
So let's go if it's if the if the base plate is on and you're putting one. All you want to do is get this new counterweight square. That means this edge, I stand on this side, crane operators on this side. I stand on this side, and if it's tilted that way, I put my hand on, or with the or with the um or with the rope, the tag line, I get that square. So I get this edge square with the bottom edge. And I hold it square for as long as I can and I make sure that's square. Because I know if that's square with that, then on this side that's square with that. And so it's, so it's perfect, it can't be out of line. So I make sure the edge, the side edge of this counterweight is perfectly square with the bottom edge. And then your crane operator is on the left hand side, he can see that his side is square with the other side. So if both sides are square and he knows the perfect radius, he can come down and it will go down perfectly on top of that. Like he'll go down with caution because yeah, he might be out a little bit, but there's enough given these holes for you to be out five or 10, uh, five or 10 centimeters. And so the only thing that you should be concentrating on is is, is is this plate, is this counterweight square? Is it square with this bottom one? Because this bottom one is square because it's in the right place. Now if you don't have a bottom one, you want to line it up with the side of the chassis of the crane. So the side of the crane is square, so you want to get this side of the counterweight square with the side of the chassis. So you want to look down, poke your head out, look down, is this square with the side of the chassis? Or on this side, I, may, I, I can't do it on this table because it's not there. But you want to see, so say this is the side of the chassis, that's the side of the chassis there of the crane, you want to get it square with that. So if it's coming around and you're on the deck and it's like that, obviously it's not square. So you want to push it around, boom, now it's perfectly square. He can come down, he knows the radius, all right? So number one job when you're helping put the counterweight on, you want to get this bad boy square. That, that's your number one priority, okay? Get the counterweight square with the chassis, or if the base plate is on with the goalposts, the two prongs, the two goalposts which stand up, when he comes over, if it's out of square, you want to look down, you're going to get that side square. Now I'm repeating myself, and I've had a few people going, bros, you keep repeating yourself. But I can't help it because I want you to understand, all right? Now some people stand in the middle when they've got one hand on this side, one hand on that side, and it's coming down, and you can't actually see that it's square from in the middle here. And as a crane operator, you're in the, you're in the cab here, and you can see it's on the piss, and you're like, bro, can, like, like it's on the piss, man, and you're sitting here, you can't see that from the middle. So what you want to do is you want to get on the side of the crane, if you can, I mean, on some sites, you know, they look at you and you're on the side of the crane, it doesn't look good, you know, you might get a warning, hey man, get off the side of the crane, I know. Maybe you can sit down on there. Or on other cranes, they've got fences on the front of the chassis. So they've got fences, so you can stand on the front of the chassis, beside the fence, and you can make sure that down the side of this counterweight, it's square with the bottom one. And then he comes down and it's perfect. And then he looks at you, he gives you the nod, and he says, bro, you've been watching Dalesburg and Crane Tips, haven't you, boy? And you're like, yeah, boy, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, now look, I'm on the side of the crane here. Now this goalpost, see the counterweight there? It's square with the chassis, you see? This, the front end isn't out a bit, the back end isn't out a bit. It's perfectly in line with the chassis. And so you wanna poke your head to the side here, and you want to get the counterweight square with the chassis. Now if you're doing the next plate, you want to get that next plate square with this bottom plate. Now look, I understand, there's some counterweights, like this one, where the top one hugs over, the top one hugs over the bottom one. So if you got that square with that, it would be out of line. But you know, we all know that, you know, and, and you can see it's wider and that it doesn't fit, but you still want to get it square. All right, and so that means the inside of the counterweight, you want to get square with that. So in reality, you just want to get it square with the chassis or square with the um, base plate, but, but that's your number one priority is to get it square, because if it's square and the crane operator knows the radius, it's going to go on and it's going to be perfect. All right, 
my crane that I've got is not here at the moment but it's got fences up the front so if you want to stand on the side of the crane inside the fence perfect and then you keep it square with your hand or with the tag line and then it'll go on every time bros every time all right let's go back inside okay guys so for the 50 millionth time get the counterweight square now a little, clean, a little bit of clean up of this because sometimes I say a few things and then I look, uh, I listen to it and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a dickhead. So, um, if you don't have your base plate on and you're putting your base plate on, what I mean is use the chassis to see if you're square. What I don't mean is line up the counterweight with the chassis. Don't line up the counterweight with the chassis because most of the time, um, it doesn't it doesn't line up with the chassis but the chassis is good it's a good indicator oh yeah am I square or not no I'm not I'm just using this and then you place it down because most of the time the counterweights in 10 or in a hundred mil or out a hundred mil from the actual chassis itself so not in line just using it as a, as a tool to get your counterweight square and then if you've got top counterweights and you put them on the goal posts you just want to use that bottom one to get it square. Most of the time it's in line. Sometimes it's not because the second plate hugs over. Now there is a little merit in looking up at the holes to see if they line in. Once you've got it square, look up at the holes. Are they going in? Yeah, you can do that. I'm not saying don't do that. If that's been working for you, good, for ages, keep doing it. You know, I'm not some, uh, you know, authoritarian you know, dictator saying, this is what you have to do, what, whatever works. But if you don't, you know, use this. If you can't get up on the deck and you're on the ground, just pop your head up, you know, look down the chassis and be like, okay, is it square? You know, you can do that. So you got your tagline and you got to move it with the rope. If, you, if the crane operator asks, or if you don't know the crane operator, just say, hey, do you know your radius? And if he doesn't, then yeah, you can line him up. So all these things, you know, differentiate between um, what crane operator you want, uh, how your company operates the cranes. Maybe you can be on a different crane every day of the week. So it's kind of like, oh, what's my radius for these counterweights, you know? So that's it, guys, you know. Easy, clear, you get it. I'm not going to say get it square again because I've said it a <laughs> million times. But like this video, subscribe here. Dalsrigan Crane Tips 2020. Not so. Oh, yeah, yeah.